So what was the name of this game? All right, that's good to know. It's okay, it's bonus room, we all get it. I'm ready whenever. Uh, Alright, this is Mischief Makers. <clears throat> it's a really good speed game. The level design is a little, can be really bad, but the movement is really good. And uh, <clears throat> some of the levels are really bad. Like World 5, I, I don't like at all. And I don't know. The storyline is a little weird. You're pretty much a um, a robot housemaid, and you're the person who made you, Professor Leo or Theo, I forget, <clears throat> keeps getting kidnapped, and you have to save him. Uh, the main gimmick in this game, really like, uh, you can boost with the C buttons. You can boost horizontally, left or right, but you lose height, and if you boost up, you kind of just stay in the same spot. But you can get around this by <clears throat> adding a grab when you're uh, dashing up and grabbing, you can gain momentum and height. So it's like the main gimmick in this game. You'll see me tap, like, mashing A a lot. It makes that whole checkerboard thing go by faster for some reason. I don't know why. Ranks it like you get ranks depending on how fast you go. They're pretty strict sometimes. Like I probably just got an A on that stage. I think it's like a 25 and, or less. You get S. Yeah. This stage I hate. <clears throat> Six seconds long, but it's really easy to get caught up in all this crap right here. really hot. I have like a fever. It's really terrible. This is what ha happens when you hang out with like 500 nerds. <clears throat> Over the course of 10 days you just get sick of this. <clears throat> Someone is asking you how long did it take you to learn overhand techniques? Um, I played through one game and I got used to it like right away. It didn't take very long. Um, my friend Murray, who's in the collective, taught me pretty much everything I know. Uh, shout out to Murray. He's probably watching. But it didn't take very long. It's a little weird at first, but playing one, like, if you just play through the game like this, you get used to it. That's a lot of ways. When I was talking about bad level design, this is one of the levels I don't like. I think it's really stupid.
I actually have to slow down there so I don't get hit by the bombs. Normally I go too fast. It took me a while to figure that out, actually. Uh, Alright. We'll get there. Eventually this is coming off. Alright, that was good. That boss can take anywhere between one or like eight hits. It makes no sense. He's a real pain. <clears throat> yeah, try to the next level. Uh, it, it, I don't remember what it says in English. I know the English version. This is another level that is silly. I really wish it wasn't in the game. You just kill all these kids, basically. It's like, <laughs> this game is big on uh, animal abuse and child abuse for some reason. It's kind of funny. You notice like, I tap a lot. It's just a bad habit. I don't know. I like to keep moving. It's 5940. It's like two minutes slower than the world record. The world record is held by a guy named Conjack One. He literally has 40 followers. No one knows who he is. He's really good. He's got a 57 and 47. And then my friend Murray is like, me and him are about people. He might be a little better, he may actually. Because he doesn't run J-Cart. I don't know what his time is, but... I think the J-Cart saves about 36 seconds in cutscenes. Unless I totally messed up when I tested it, which is completely plausible. Because I can be pretty dumb. Oh, um, here you're supposed to use a bomb. To, oh, shit. To uh, blow up these red blocks here, but you can get around it by dashing around it. What's your uh, favorite boss? My favorite boss? boss? Yeah. Uh, I have to think about that. I don't really have a favorite boss. Um... They all kind of pissed me off. Like each, like I hate Terrace the most because he's like a lot of RNG. I'd probably have to go with, I guess the most fun when you do it right is probably the Cer Cerberus or the Cerberus when he's riding that motorcycle thing. I just did a clip there. You had to do like, um, I don't know what it looks like now. You dash down and, well you jump and dash down and grab it. You clip through certain blocks. It's pretty interesting. level really worth it to collect all yellow diamonds? Is it worth it? Like, um, there's a, the ending is different. Um, it's kind of pervy, actually. Um, I would say it's worth it to get all the diamonds. 
I think... I guess he means getting the gold gem off the last boss. It's not that hard. Um, there is a... There's one stage. It's like... I don't want to say it's frame perfect, but... It's an auto scroller, and to get the gold gem on it, you, they make you work for it for some reason. <clears throat> it's like you gotta grab it off screen, the star off screen. Or and that's not for the gold gem, I'm sorry, that's for the S rank. Um, the gold gem, I think for the last boss, you just don't take a hit. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what he means. Me neither. Okay. How long have you been running this game? Um, like two months. Believe it or not. <clears throat> um, before this, I ran Super Metroid for like ten years. Uh, like eight, eight years by myself, and then for two years I, you know, I found, um... I get, well, the whole story is that Cassius and MSDS came into my stream like two years ago, when I was playing Super Metroid. And they told me about Speedruns Live, and... You know, told me about it, to check it out, the IRC and stuff, so. And then, um, I always said to Garrison, like, I always wanted to run Mischief Makers, but I never, like, had anyone to teach me or anything. And then, um, you know, I met everyone in the collective, we're all buddies, and, uh, I met Murray. And he taught me how to... Uh, He's telling me how to, uh, you know, play. Oh, this is going terrible, by the way. We're just going to start over at that stage. <clears throat> Do you play any fighting games? Um, kind of. Like, you know, I could... Oh, wow. I kind of play, like... I played Street Fighter 2 in arcade when I was a kid and stuff like that, but I don't really do a lot of play a lot of fighting games really anymore. But I mean, I, I used to play some games, fighting games. Oh, my PB in Super Metroid is a 48. It's respectable, I guess. It's pretty bad for speedrunning it for 10 years, but you know. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm terrible at this game, too. Oh my god, what are you doing? Okay. I don't remember what my PB is. I know it's a 48. It's a high 48, the Super Metro. If you jump up in the corner and, and do the boost grabs, but I was zoning out.
like there's some cutscenes you can skip, but like there's a lot of cutscenes at the end of a world that you can't skip and you're just stuck. This one happens to be the longest in the game. It's like two minutes or something. Yeah, I haven't, um, I guess I PB'd in Super Metroid like three months ago. I didn't quit or anything, but I kind of got burnt out on it. I played it for so long, like, like I was doing like 14 hour like marathons playing Super Metroid and I got really burnt out. Super Metroid is a good game, like, it's a good speed game if it's the last speed game you ever play, like, it's a very technical game. I got him when I was a kid, I was, I, my, my friend learned to do, uh, tattoo in prison, I was basically his pin cushion. I got them when I was a kid. I'm not very happy with my tattoos. I actually try to hide them a lot. Don't get tattoos, they're pretty stupid. So yeah, I have like really crappy tattoos. I'm not too proud of them. Finally, that server. Um, <clears throat> let's see. There's, there's a, I guess like the big trick in this game is three three. It's a missile skip. Um, I'm just gonna talk about it now. Actually, let me talk about this real quick. So, remote. Uh, hold on. I'll tell you that stuff. <laughs> so normally you're supposed to get four of those bombs and put them in a bag and then you get a big bomb and you blow up that, that wall that's in the way. Um, it's easy. It's faster. So just take one bomb and use it to damage boost over it, and that's it. So 3-3, three, three, there's, there's a missile, you're supposed to ride it through the whole stage, and it takes like over a minute, and you're supposed to avoid like blowing the missile up or whatever, uh, no. and uh, instead of riding it throughout the whole stage and wasting a minute, you angle the missile so that you can get the most time out of it, so you can just move freely through the stage. And it's a pretty difficult trick, I guess. So hopefully I don't mess it up. So it saves like over a minute. It's a pretty big trick. There's a pretty big skip here too, but I'm only gonna try it twice. I don't wanna waste too much time trying to do it. It's 
right here. The spring here. Oh, that was it. So, that saves a lot of time. So, it's pretty sweet. It can be pretty tricky, like, maneuvering through all the, the uh, those platforms. A lot of times you just hit, like, one of them. You gotta do it, like, pretty... I wanna say slowly when you do the, the, the cancels. But it's not that slow. I was trying to show my friends. And I told him it was really slow when you do it, but it's really not that slow. But you do the taps or whatever. Killed that Frank or Z. Oh god. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sorry. Let's make it a war between Cap and Frank or Z. Who wins? Oh, so this game has tricycles <laughs> in it. They're pretty cool. There's another one that's like a whole level where you ride a trike. It's really dumb, but people really like it for some reason. There's another clip here. There you go. So here you gotta put these kids in this, this bag. I mean, I guess you don't really have to, but it makes it faster. And you gotta put them in like this half pipe. This game, it, it's supposed to be like a puzzle, I guess. So that the star appears and that you can end the stage. Boss fights RNG. Sometimes he'll jump up and like uh, these bombs will appear like, under him, and you can use, them. You can throw them into the bombs, and it does more damage. Yeah. Otherwise, you just kind of just throw them. You can actually avoid that, but let go like that. That took like abnormally long because I was being stupid. So this is the festival. It's really bad. <laughs> there's like a race, there's like three four races, and then there's like a hurdle, and there's one that's called math one. And I'm notoriously bad at division. So you're probably gonna see me mess up some really basic elementary school math. That's okay, you can make fun of me, because I'm it's, <laughs> There's not much I can really say about it. <clears throat> the, the sad part is I used to be a dealer at a casino, and I'm really bad at math. So I don't know why they hired me, really. <laughs> Shoutouts to my ex. Thanks for breaking my heart. <laughs> she used to work at the casino. Oops. I almost froze the whole game. So, you get the gold gem here, you have to get under 11 seconds, I think. It actually wastes time too, so you kind of want to get over 11. 
Like, that was perfect. Oh, by the way, shout out to Mutalisk Udon, who made all the Super Metroid players cookies and stuff. They were really good. She's probably not even watching right now, but... She is in chat? Oh, hi Muta. Thanks for the cookies. I don't know, that's cool that she's watching. Oh, word. Yeah, shout outs to Stryker and Ivan, Golden, everyone in the collective. Honestly, like, I, back in, like, August, I was going through, like, a really hard time. And I came back to the speedrun community or whatever, and everyone really kept my head above water. Like, everyone in Super Metroid and the collective, all those guys. I love those guys a lot. I'm going to really miss, like, Boonsaw and everybody, really. And hopefully we'll all meet again real soon. fail this intentionally because it's faster than this fail the 400. There's another one I'll fail intentionally as well. I think it's called, I forget what it's called, it's like uh, jump basically. This is another part of the game I really don't like. It's just, it just seems like filler. I think this game was rushed. Um, there's just a lot of filler levels. This is, yeah, this one I fail intentionally as well. Um, the more balls you catch, the white ones at least, the faster the timer goes down. The problem is they, sometimes they never, like, they'll throw one white ball sometimes. It's all RNG. This is pretty good. I guess I'll talk about the boss that's coming up. It's Cerberus. Uh, you can skip two phases of the fight. 
depending on. Sorry. Basically, like he'll jump over you, and you need to throw a missile at him as soon as he lands, and it'll lock him into that phase. Uh, if you miss it, it kind of sucks because it wastes a lot of time. It's not too difficult, but it's pretty easy to mess it up. Uh, this is everyone's favorite. It's math fun. The collective likes to make fun of me a lot when I do math fun. Oh shit. It's really easy to grab the wrong numbers too. So sometimes like I'll try to get the right one and it just looks like I'm dumb, but I know what it is. I have no idea. Like, like, <laughs> I hate it. Luckily, um, I didn't get any like hard division questions because I'm really, really bad at division. A lot of times, too, I I'll think it's addition when it's multiplication. I, I do that a lot for some reason. Oh, I get a penalty, too, for failing those two missions. So I get like a four-minute penalty. <laughs> That's why I got a C. Can people actually win this? Win this? Oh, that, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's uh, And talk about prices. I have a little competition in the Twitch chat. Right? If you PM me, Tampa, the estimate for this run, like what run is going to, the time is going to get, you may win an NES game from a few couples. So you have to PM me before 10.30. So you have seven minutes left. You can PM me either on IRC or Twitch. What game is it? That's a secret. They are going to be four winners. The first, the one that's closer with the estimate is going to win. They go to pick first. And so on. The hubcap is a donation incentive for bonus stream. Anyone who donates five dollars or more during any point of bonus stream can win the hubcap signed by many of the runners here. So I got the serve skip. Um, normally there's four phases, and the last two are awful. But I locked him into the second phase, and I could just throw missiles at him and just kill him. It saves a decent amount of time. Why are you mashing buttons on a cutscene that is um, Oh, um, with the text, I have to hold L or R. I have to hold one of the um, shoulder buttons and mash the other one. It makes the text go by faster. Uh, I sometimes I mash A. I don't know. It's just like a rhythm thing I like to do. Like to do that. Uh, doesn't really make a difference. I also like to uh, keep my hands warm. I have a. Uh, I don't know. It just helps me stay uh, warmed up. I guess. I don't know. So what's going on in the story? Um, 
basically that bad guy is dressed up as Marina, and the, the professor is uh, very into Marina. So basically he's getting kidnapped, but willingly at the moment. The story doesn't really make any sense. It probably makes, like, even if you could read it, you wouldn't. It's just, it's just silly stuff, really. Uh, hello? Okay. Normally, there's a clip right there, but I messed up. It actually doesn't even save that much time. But I, I won't get the S rank, but it's not a big deal. I think Murray in the chat could explain the story better than I could. It, it doesn't make it. It's just... Uh, basically, Marina and the professor are visiting the Clancer planet for some reason. And his brother wants to kidnap him for I don't know why. This is going very bad. It could have gone a lot worse, actually, but that's alright. It did go bad. So what made you want to run this game? Um... I think the movement's really interesting. I like how it's like you're flying around and stuff. I don't know, it's just the movement is, is a lot of fun in this game. <coughs> and just the way you hold the controller is interesting. Well, when you speed run it. Um, that's really it. There's nothing more to it. It's got its downsides, but it's still a really good speed run. I actually, like, I never played this game as a kid. Um, I remember my friend, I was at his house one day, and he was playing Bongayo, I think it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but he was playing Bongayo. It's a treasure game. It's really fun. And I was checking that out, and I, you know, I looked up to see what the company was, and it was treasure. And I was wondering what, you know, like, what else did they make? I mean, this, you know, obviously this is a treasure game. And I remember, I remembered it as a kid. Like, I always saw it, but I never rented it or bought it. I was kind of like, just walk by it or whatever. I think a lot of people did that as a kid with this game. I, I don't know why it's so, like, obscure. A lot of people like, don't even know about this game. Um, it had a commercial, I know that, and it's really cheap on eBay, too, like, I bought my American copy, like, a couple years ago for, like, six bucks, so it's not even a hard game to find, really. So, for some reason, these kids, you gotta save these kids if they're, like, trying to fight you, I don't know why. Called Seven Clancers. Uh, whoops. It's really boring. I don't like the stage either. You basically fight seven like mini bosses. There's actually a better route for this. Peaches was showing me the other day, but I don't really remember. I don't want to like do a route. I don't. I'm not proud of this thing. But Peaches was showing me a route the other day. He sh he showed me a lot of things like I didn't realize. <clears throat> he told me about um, it's like a dash throw. It's pretty useful that I didn't know about. But I probably won't use it at all because I'm just not practiced in it. Oh. 
Oops. Uh, well, I just went the wrong way. So we save their kids. Uh, this cutscene is where we see, I guess, the, the main villain, which is the professor's brother. He finally reveals himself. So that kid on the left with the hat is Black Man. Apparently, he's like apparently he's like a uh, superhero, pretty much. It's, but he's like no one knows it that it, he's Black Man. It's really weird. So Marine is hurt, and now we gotta play as the kid to help save her. <laughs> when I first started running this, I didn't realize you could run through those like people in the background or these like balls here, and I would always jump over them. So this is like a mini boss. <clears throat> uh, she blows up longer than it takes the fighter. As you'll see. Oops. She just blows up for like 15 seconds. It's very, uh, it just keeps going. I don't know. So they find this like capsule thing and it like heals Marina. I don't know. It's really strange. Do you know who uh, Christopher Mintzpiece is? No. Oh, class, whatever. Yep. He's in Super Bad and I've seen that movie. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say you look like him. Could you concur? I have no idea. A lot of people, like Bonesaw, say I look like Ed Norton. I hear things like all the time. Like, I hear Dave Grohl. Someone told me Tom Green one time. I don't know. It's just, is that good or bad? Like, who's that guy? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, this fight's RNG. It's terrible. Um, come on. Oh my god. 
This is bad versus against. I did mess up though. Like I am just doing really bad. Oh, come on. Jack, do we have time for a couple of announcements? Announcements? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so we have a $10 anonymous donation. And the comment is, I figured out the secret to going fast in mischief makers. Mockball. Mockball? Oh wait, wrong name. Uh, now we uh, have a couple donation incentives uh, coming up that we want to go ahead and take the opportunity to plug. Uh, we have right here the uh, Rick Dangerous Speedrun. Yes. Which is a $1,000 incentive. Uh, 1000 Looks like it's say 1000 It's never going to happen. Well, it isn't if people don't donate. We should play that on screen anyway. Looks like that's what we got Yeah, uh, so people, people in here are really excited about this, and that probably means that uh, viewers should be excited for it as well. Probo oh Sparkle will play this game. Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, is that the King of the Glasses? I am not sure exactly when he'll play this. It's the dude who was sleeping on the sofa for the last run. Yes. You you want him to be back up uh, in front of the camera because he's awesome. Uh, in addition, we have a uh, another donation inside that is uh, going through very shortly. Uh, so if you don't see in the tracker right now, you will soon. Uh, and that is, uh, Kiura is going to do a speedrun of the game Sound Shapes for the PlayStation 4 coming up uh, later today. Uh, basically, none of you have played this game because no one actually has a PlayStation 4, but it's a very good looking game. Uh, he's going to speedrun the first album. Uh, the game has, I believe he said, five or six albums. And if you donate $500, he will do a casual percent aka Let's Play of the remaining albums. So that's $1,000 for Rick Dangerous. You really want to see this. You really want Robert Sparkle to come back up here. And $500 for the Sound Shapes casual percent of extra albums. Rick Dangerous should be 500 This is a trike level. Oh, um, you don't want to do that. So. <laughs> So my terrace went really bad, and it was mostly my fault. But that there is a lot of RNG in that, fo that fight. But <clears throat> I really messed it up. <laughs> There's no reason to get a B there. This is more animal abuse. We're gonna fight a mole. Uh, whoops. This is supposed to be a maze. Um, I mean, it is, but I know where to go most of the time. Sometimes I mess it up. Oops. Oops. You can actually skip that dance animation for fast enough. Like, you gotta time it out pretty well. Otherwise, like, you'll, you'll fall short or you just won't go at all.
So World 5 is coming up, and World 5 is a lot of, it's pretty boring. Um, it's like, a lot of boss fights, and a lot of boring, like, a handful of bad levels. Like, there's an auto-scrawler. Um, I think there's like one decent level. There's like one level I like, actually, in World 5. It's called Trapped. There's supposed to be a puzzle that you're supposed to do, but like, you actually, um, well, I'll explain it when I get there. So again, the professor is getting captured. So this guy looks a lot like the main character in Alien Soldier, which is also a treasure gun. I just think it's a reference. I would think. I don't know, he looks exactly like the guy in Alien Soldier. We call them cat missiles. Like there's this cat thing with like a thing of missiles on top of them, and it helps the stage go by faster when you get them. Uh, it's RNG though. Like that. There we go. There's the cat missile. Oops. Chad has been very concerned about the welfare of your controller. Oh, uh, it's... Time. Yeah, I don't blame him. The game gives no explanation to why you're riding an ostrich here. So, here's an ostrich. And an option. Yeah, I'm pretty rough with the controller. Even when I play at Super Metroid, I'm pretty hard on my D-pads and stuff. Uh, the, the analog stick is perfect, though, because <laughs> I never use it. So here's the auto-scroller. You just sit in the upper left-hand corner for like 90% of the stage. It's really exciting. To get the gold gem here, you gotta like grab these missiles and shake them. I like hope a gold gem comes out of it. There it is. Well, I didn't get it though. Doesn't matter. To S rank this stage, you have to grab. 
the star, like off screen almost, like perfectly. It gives you a very small window to grab the star and S rank it. And I did it. So that kind of went bad. It's all right. All right. So normally you do like a puzzle here to get through the stage. Um, there's these bombable walls in the way. Normally, you wouldn't be able to grab the bomb. Like, whoops. Well, you're not intended to do it this way. But it skips the puzzle. And that just reset the stage, so that's great. I think it's the next level. It's a boss. It's really weird. You get text bubbles and you shake them and you throw them at the boss. So you have to avoid the word death because when you shake it, it turns into the word life and it gives you life and it wastes time. So I had to like memorize what was the word death in Japanese, but it wasn't too bad. It's pretty distinct. It's one character and like got a, like a hook on it that I look for it. It's, it's pretty noticeable. It stands out pretty well. There is one that kind of looks like death, but it doesn't have like this kind of like hook on the bottom right. Oh. 
Oh, thanks. I don't even know what that thing is supposed to be. Hmm? Circuit board? An ancient circuit board. I mean, I'll take that. It seems legit to me. It's an ancient circuit board. So I don't know why he takes the shot for Marina. She's a robot. Um, he could probably just make another one. He's really pervy about Marina. It's kind of weird. And the, the worst part is, um, depending on what age you put in, she can either be an adult woman or a young girl. And she turns into a young girl, and he's, like, lusting over her, and it's kind of disturbing. So he just pretended he died, and she gets upset and launches him into space, basically. That's not nice. <laughs> not really. Yeah. So this is the last boss. Uh, he can be kind of trolly, depending on when I throw his fist at him, he can either jump left or right and dodge it. Dodged it because he's a jerk. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. It's not too bad. He actually might die here. Oh. Never mind. That was like the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> Pretty much. I think time's coming out. Yeah, that's time. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Thank you. That's kind of a rough time. I don't know. I was expecting more like 101, maybe, but... We won't see the whole end, because I don't have enough gold gems, but... Thanks for watching and everything. Thanks for all you guys for being here. Involgen. And wherever Countdown is, I don't know. And just the fan. That's it. You can cut it off. <sighs> I'm just like sweating through my pants all over this chair, so. Enjoy. Mm. Yeah. Are you feeling any better now than before? No, I feel all. No, of course. Go get some sleep or something. I'm good. Oh, you're driving. Okay, everyone, uh, so we had previously postponed Max Payne 2, uh, but it looks like we'll be...